Good morning, good morning, peeps. Jane, I'm here, your favorite holistic jersey girl. What's going on? If you can tell, I am not working today. I am on my walk and I'm off today. I'm heading out to Vegas, meeting one of my besties. I am so stoked. We are heading to a VIP mastermind and it's really exciting because when you when you get around the right people, and what I mean by that is the people with the right mindset. I'm not, I'm not judging anyone for who they are. Um, I just want to be around people with the right mindset. And the right mindset, to me, are the one percenters. The no matter whaters. <laughs> are you a no matter water? So anyway, I'm out walking this morning. Just getting my last minute things done, wrapped up. And I'm going for a walk. And I, you know, I put my sneakers on. I'm doing some research because I'm putting together a five-day intuitive eating reset, and you know, doing my due diligence and how I'm gonna, you know, what materials I'm gonna help people with. Because if you're anything like me, you beat the hell up out of yourself if you don't like do all the things all the time. And listen, I'm not saying that you don't have to be consistent because you have to be consistent. But what you're doing doesn't have to always be hardcore intense. It doesn't. And I, that's one thing I see a lot of, I don't want to say influencers, like especially a lot of people I follow, their workouts are intense. Their eating habits are intense. Like everything's intense. And I'm like, uh, are you enjoying that? <laughs> Is that fun for you? So, um, anyway, I would, you know, I have a gym in my community and I would love to, I've been saying, I want to get into weights. I want to get into weights and I do want to get into weights, but here's the thing. After researching intuitive eating, because I've done a lot of hypnosis around it, and just what does it look like? Because I mean, what what do you I mean, what do you really do? You wake up and you're like, hmm, am I hungry? Like it seems a little woo woo. Like is this really pie in the sky, or can you implement this successfully in your life and feel good? And so I thought about me this morning. I could have gone to the gym. I could have done weights. Hey Mel. But I don't want to do that. I want to go for a walk. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. And I want to celebrate my body by going for a walk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So we beat ourselves up because we think we should be doing more or something different than what we want to do. Why? So with intuitive eating, there's intuitive movement. The, the whole thing behind intuitive, being intuitive is tapping. Like right now, I'm not being present like on my walk because I'm talking to you guys. But typically, to practice your intuition, is you, you stay present. You stay off your phone for number one. And you stay present and, and you take it in. Look, look, you take in the tree and the movement and the sound. You stay present to all your senses and you celebrate your body. You celebrate your choices and you look at what feels good because a walk makes me feel really, really good. And I'll do that every single day. I will walk my little booty off and it feels good. I'm like, I'm moving my body. And I, as I walk, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. For, the, for the, my breath, thank you for my arms, for my legs, my vision, my hearing. I, I mean, I thank God for everything, my feet, that I'm able to walk. And I'm grateful for every single bit, thing. And how much different would our lives be if we were not just satisfied with bare minimum, but just really happy that we do something, that we tap into our issue, uh, intuition and say, what do we want to do? I, yeah, I want to move my body, but what feels good? Maybe that's going up and down the stairs in your home or doing your laundry or cleaning up and feeling accomplished and fulfilled after that. It doesn't have to be like a hit program or, you know, you're doing these like, I don't know, what's another intense workout? Orange Theory, I thought was pretty intense. I did not enjoy that. And some people absolutely love it. I don't want to get yelled at for an hour. <laughs> like, I'm serious. I feel like I've been through enough. I want to, I want to have more joy in my life than to get yelled at for an hour at Orange Theory. But no judgment. If you love Orange Theory, go do it, go do it every single day. So the whole point about being intuitive is being aware of everything. So when you move, being aware of the movement, when you eat, be aware of what you're eating and not judge it. But like, listen, I used to love French fries, but French fries make me feel like crap. They cause physical pain in my body. I feel bloated. I have trouble sleeping. It gives me indigestion and I'm burping. Like, is, do I really want French fries? Not really, not really. I feel better when I eat something fresh. So anyway, that's my, I'll get off my soapbox now. I just wanted to share a little bit about intuitive movement. I am doing a five day intuitive eating reset starting in June. 
So there's an option to just do the program for five days, just to get in touch with intuitive eating, intuitive movement, intuitive thoughts, how to get back to, to here, how to get back to here and live from here. It feels really good. Um, and it's a practice. I'm not saying that I've done it and it's like I could check the box. It's a daily practice. And I want to teach you from the lessons I've learned how to do it so that you feel better about your life, about yourself. Um, so that's starting in June. The program itself is a five day, but then you can add, if you add on my product bundle, it drops the price down to $19. So if you're interested in that, I just wanted to share it because I think it's a really important program. A lot of people are like, I don't know why I can't lose weight. I don't know why I feel so down all the time. I'm depressed all the time. It's because we're detached from ourselves. I keep saying this and people don't, you know, I'm trying to use like layman's terms, but it means that we're just on autopilot. We're just getting up, going to work, coming home, getting up. Go, and it's like, where's, where's the fulfillment? So anyway, I hope you got some value from that. If you did, get, drop me some bells. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know if you're interested in the five-day intuitive eating reset. Share this out if called to. And I am going to be heading to Texas now. Ciao, ciao. Have a good day.